Making a game takes a long time, right? Well, not anymore. So you might have seen these games like Obby but you can't jump or Robby but you're on a bike. So my game idea is Obby but everything's upside down. So first of all, we're going to use the render stepped event to run the script every frame. Then we times the current camera's coordinate frame by 180, which will then flip the camera upside down. Then I made a leader stat script to show how many wins and deaths each player has. I also added in data store, so when the player quits, all their stats are saved. So you can see, we now have a wins and deaths counter at the top. Well, time to build a map. So first of all, take a cube and flatten it, then select off the edges and then bevel them. Then finally, shade smooth and we're done. Boom! Now we have a bit of grass and we're going to use it to make the spawn area. Okay, back into Blender. Now I'm going to be making a leaderboard model and boom! The wins leaderboard is done. Now let's duplicate it to the other side and we're going to change it from wins to deaths. After that, I made some buttons for the game passes and after a few changes, the lobby is done. Now we need to make the stages, and this took like 3 hours to make, so I'll quickly show you what I made. Paths, walls, jumps, guess the path, kill parts, checkered floor, wedges, lava, more walls, a maze that I need to change because it's too easy. <sighs> Roblox logos, conveyor, ladder, lasers, donut, stairs, thin path, jump pads, platforms, more stairs, platforms and lasers, swings, and a big slide. Whoa. Okay, now we need to add in the checkpoints. So I just copy pasted the win value and changed it to stage. And then I duplicated the spawn location and stuck it around the map. Then back inside of the script, I used the touched event to run the code when someone touches the checkpoint. Then it checks if the place stage value is the one before it. That way they can't just like skip ahead or go backwards. Then we set the stage value to the name of the checkpoint, which is just like the number. So if we go ahead and touch a second checkpoint and then reset. Then we spawn on stage two. Okay, so I added in this GUI from one of my other games. And then I'm going to change the strength to a trophy for the wins. And then I'm going to change the cash to a skull for the deaths. I also changed the colour of the backgrounds and added in a settings button. And I animated the shop button to hopefully get people to notice it and spend their Robux. Anyway, first I made the settings GUI where you'd be able to mute the sound effects or music. Woo, this took way longer than it should have. Then to get it to work, I looped through all the sounds of the game and then set its volume property to zero. Then I copy pasted it all and changed the sounds volume property to its original volume so we can hear it again. Then after that, I made the shop GUI and I know I said the last one took way too long, but this, this took way too long. And to get it to work, I added the game pass ID as an attribute and then I used the prompt game pass purchase function. Then I made a few buttons to skip stage, skip the entire hobby, or to reset everyone, just to be really annoying. So if we go ahead and buy skip stage, then we teleport over to stage 2, and we can also buy it as many times as we want, and now we're on stage 3. Then if we buy skip hobby, we can teleport all the way to the end. I don't know why you'd want to do that though. Okay, so we have two other players in the game, and if we buy reset everyone, then we all die and respawn at their last checkpoint. Then finally, I added the game passes to the lobby, so they're easier to buy, and that's pretty much it. Time to publish! But first, we need the game icon. So I added in a noob and posed him. Then I imported him to Blender and rendered the image. After that, I fixed the image because it looked awful before. Then I drew him a face, added a background, and that was pretty much it. Well, here goes nothing. Boom! The game is public. Link in the description. I think I'm going to try sponsoring it. So let's try phone and tablet. Then I'm going to make it last for about three days. So I'll come back in three days to see how the game's doing. So I ended up sponsoring it twice, one for mobile and one for computer. So this one was for the phone and tablet and it got about 2,500 visits. But let's see how the computer one did. So this one got over a million impressions, but only 700 visits, which is so bad. And altogether, the game has about 5,000 visits and I actually made over 700 Robux, which isn't that bad. Anyway, subscribe if you want to see me update the game.